Well, from spring yesterday to well winter today, temperatures are turning back to near or around average. Temperatures today topped out in the upper 30s. Tomorrow we'll see kind of a similar day temperature wise, but throughout the work week we drop into the upper 20s. So below average for this time of year, then climb into the mid 30s by next Saturday and then Sunday of next week. Temperatures return back into the 40s. So we do see colder temperatures on the way. High temperatures for today, though, managed to make it into the 40s. Some areas in the lower 30s and down towards Sheboygan high of 58 degrees to so almost 60 degrees across uh, the lower portion of our viewing area. So a mixed bag temperature wise and right now we're still sitting in the 30s. Sheboygan and Fond du Lac cooling off rather quickly with temperatures in the upper 30s, 36 out towards Appleton. We're in store for a colder night tonight, but compared to yesterday, we're around 15 to 20 degrees cooler and we'll only see temperatures get colder as we go into the work week. Right now in precision radar, seeing some snow showers pushing through areas to the south, seeing primarily rain showers due to temperatures being above freezing and some areas seeing a mixture of some rain, snow, and sleet. But right behind the system that's pushing through, we see much drier air. So throughout the overnight hours, we'll see on and off snow showers, but a lot of us will remain dry as we go into tonight. However, we do have another cold front to the north that'll bring in colder temperatures, as well as a chance of seeing some snow showers Monday night into Tuesday morning, making for a messy commute. But Temperature wise will be below average as we go into uh, the second half of your work week. But for tomorrow, high temperatures will top out at around your morning hours at around 830. We'll see our high at 36 degrees and then we'll plummet with temperatures dropping into the 20s and then we'll remain in the 20s for Tuesday with highs only topping out in the mid to upper 20s. That's below average for this time of year. But along with that cold front, we do see blustery wind conditions. These are just our sustained winds for tomorrow directly out of the northwest, ranging anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts anywhere between 35 to 40 miles per hour. They'll diminish as we head into the afternoon and uh, the later afternoon and into the overnight hours, which is good news for us as we head into your Monday. And then for Monday, we do have a chance of seeing some snow as well out towards Shano starting off the, uh, the morning with a messy commute for some areas that pushes through and then we see primarily dry conditions throughout the day, mostly cloudy skies progressing into the evening at around 11 p.m. Staying relatively dry, but then Tuesday morning is our next shot of seeing some moisture, some snow showers throughout the morning hours. Uh, just to the south of Green Bay, most of the uh, accumulation will be towards the south and we could see about a trace to an, uh, an inch here in our viewing area, areas south of the Fox Cities, around one to three inches of snow with that system on Tuesday. Forecast for tonight, temperatures drop into the upper 20s with mostly cloudy skies and a wintry mix, staying breezy. Tomorrow morning, temperatures will rise in to the mid to upper 30s with decreasing temperatures throughout the afternoon with a chance of some snow showers throughout the morning. Windy with gusts up to around 35 miles per hour. Our extended forecast looking rather chilly with Temperatures topping out in the upper 20s by Wednesday and Thursday with a mixture of some sun and clouds. We rebound into the 30s by Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday is our next chance of seeing some snow after that system moving through Tuesday. So really kind of a messy commute tomorrow morning and Tuesday. So give yourself enough time to where you need to go. We'll leave a little bit early for work since roads could be a little bit slippery at times. Right. This weekend was kind of like a teaser of that warm weather to come, but now yes. we're back in winter mode. Exactly. All right. Thanks, Stephanie. Yeah. Well, it was a good day for some good cooking. And